Welcome back to the Lobo Designs channel. My name is Heather Lynn. I'm the owner of Lobo Designs and I'm here today with a laser tutorial on defocusing. So I'm going to be running through creating this project. I tested out four different defocus settings and I'm going to show you how I defocus in Lightburn. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting in Lightburn, I am using a keychain design that I will be cutting and engraving four different times. And the way that I have this set up is up here in my settings. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you how I have each one of these set. So the first one is the one on the right over here. I have that set to the black layer. It's going to be 400 speed, 40 power for both the max and the min. I'm using 400 for the LPI and I'm filling my groups together. The reason I'm doing fill groups together is because when you're engraving a job, I've found that my engraves are different when it scans right to left all the way across the entire job instead of it just scanning group by group. I also save time by doing that. So when you're in your settings, you have the option of saying whether or not you wanna fill all your shapes at one time, if you wanna fill your groups together, or if you wanna fill all the shapes individually. I personally use fill groups together. Again, that's entirely up to you what you want to use. So I'm going to replicate these exact settings across the black, blue, aqua, and hot pink layers. The only thing that I'm going to be changing for these is the Z offset. The first thing that you wanna do when you're using a Z offset is make sure that up in your device settings, which is up here, the little wrench, you're gonna click on that. You want to make sure that you have your Z control switches turned on for enable Z axis and for relative Z moves only. Once you have those checked, just click okay. And you can go right back into your settings. So again, I am going to be using the Z offset field and that's the only difference on these four layers. So the blue layer, I'm going to be doing a negative two millimeter offset. The aqua layer, I'm going to be using a negative four millimeter Z offset. The hot pink layer will have a negative six millimeter offset. I don't go any further than negative six. I personally don't even really like negative six, but I want you to see what happens when you go that far out. So once these are all set, double check that your cut settings are proper. Mine are 1040 for frosted clear, 1 8 inch acrylic. I am using acrylic from Cerulean Tides. Shout out to Amanda and the team. I am personally going low and slow with all of my acrylic cuts because it polishes those edges and you don't get any of those chatter marks. Again, all of these settings are entirely up to you, so please use the ones that you're most comfortable with or ones that work best for your machine. Once you're finished in here, you're just gonna click OK down here and get out of there. The last thing that I'm going to do before sending this over to my laser, I am going to select everything and you can either do Control or Command Shift H, H as in Heather, and flip them or you can go up here and you can mirror them horizontally. So you can either click this button up here to swap them around or you can do Command Shift H. And now this is ready to rock and roll. I am currently using my Wi-Fi. I'm showing disconnected right now because I don't have my machine on. So I'm gonna get that all set up. I'm gonna engrave this and then we will be right back here to discuss the results and what turned out best for me. Here's a quick look at Eonce in action. This is a real time engrave. She's working on the second keychain right now. And here are the results. Remember, this first one on the right is at an autofocus. The second one is a negative two millimeter defocus, negative four millimeters, negative six millimeters. And this negative six millimeter one looks toasty. The others look beautiful though. And remember, when you're defocusing, the goal is to get an icy engrave. So you're trying to reduce the look of the LPI. Sometimes you need to bump your LPI up and other times you just need to defocus. And here's what they look like all cleaned up with the masking removed. If you look on the left hand side, they're about to get really dirty. So this is the negative six millimeter defocus, negative four, negative two, super clean and wound up being my favorite and autofocused. You can see the lines very clearly in the autofocused one. And while this one might look like the cleanest one from afar, aside from the LPI being pretty harsh, I wanna show you what it looks like in the light because I went with the negative two millimeter defocus because of how they looked in the light. So let's check that out. The autofocus keychain is on the right, the negative two millimeter defocus is on the left, and they look similar until you hold them up to the light. This is the autofocus keychain in the light compared to the other one, the negative two millimeter defocus, which is completely clean and crisp. This is the one I went with because this is the prettiest one of all four. For testing, I also engraved a set with all four straight across without breaking it up into groups so that I could show you the difference. This keychain was engraved at 
440 just like the others, but I engraved it straight across in a group of four instead of engraving in individual groups. And this is what happened. So the reason I go with the individual groups is so that I don't have issues like this and I don't have to worry about my settings changing depending on what my project looks like. I hope that was helpful. And that concludes this tutorial. As always, feel free to join us in the Glow Create group on Facebook for additional tips and tricks on how to use Procreate, Adobe Illustrator, Lightburn, and your laser beyond the screen to turn your digital artwork into physical products. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified of future tutorials, please hit the like button and subscribe below. Until next time, this is Heather Lynn of Lobo Design signing off. I'll holla at you later.